Hello everyone and welcome to this new video which is going to be one of multiple videos in a series that is going to talk about GAN. In this series I will show you how you can install and configure GAM and how you can authorize it with your admin console. Then I'll give you a lot of examples on how you can use it to effectively manage your G Suite admin console and your G Suite domain and data. But first, before we get into these details, we have to talk also about what is GAM and how to get to download it, where you can find support and all of these stuff. So let's take a look on the points that I want to talk about. First, we'll talk about what is GAM and I will show you the wiki page. This wiki page will have all of the resources and the information that you need to have in order to effectively use this tool. Then I will show you the download page and the download options that you have. Basically, you can download it for multiple platforms and you have multiple versions for the download as well. So I will tell you how you can pick and choose what version that you will need to download. After this, we will not talk about GAM specifically for the third point. However, we need to talk about the CMD basics, the Windows command line basics, because if you are not aware about the Windows command line and if you do not use it a lot, then you will need this knowledge in order to work with GAM because GAM is a command line tool. So I will not make it a command line tutorial, however, I will make sure to cover the basic commands and the basic knowledge that you need to have before being able to use GAM. Once we are done with this point, then we'll move to the fourth point, which is the setup and the authorization for the GAM. And I will show you how you can set up and authorize the tool to work with your admin console and you can give it access to your G Suite data and information. And finally, and this final point is also going to be more than one video. There I will show you usage examples and I will try to cover a lot of scenarios and use cases. So the idea is I will give you a lot of information on how you can use GAM and what are the functionality that is supported by GAM. I will start with users management, then we move to groups management. After this, we'll take a look on the organizational units management. Then we can see how we can change the various settings for specific applications. And after this, we'll see how we can manage user email and how we can generate reports as well. These and maybe other points also are the most used and the most needed cases and scenarios that you might encounter in your real life work with GAM and your G Suite. So I will make sure that I give you all of this information and you are aware of how to achieve the requirements by the end of these videos and series. So let's talk about the first two points now. Let's talk about what is GAM and then I will show you the home page and the download page for GAM. So basically GAM is a third party tool that is developed and created using Python. It's an open source tool, so you can find it on GitHub and you can download it and you can get the source code as well. It's a command line tool and the job of this tool is to make you more efficient and confident in working with your G Suite Admin Console. It will give you a lot of functionality and it will give you a lot of access and control over stuff that are not found by default in the admin console for example if you want to add a group of users to a group or if you want to generate csv reports or if you want to change some settings in some way maybe you will not find the ability to do that using the admin console and you will need to use third party tools or even go to the api so gam will give you this functionality and will allow you to do this advanced stuff it is also a good way to integrate your environment with G Suite so you can use the tool to create password reset cycles or you can change or manage the user signatures or users photos and many other functions that can add a lot of functionality and a lot of ease of use to you and your users with G Suite. Of course being an open source tool it means that it is available for download on the internet and you can get versions for it for Windows operating systems and Linux operating systems. You do not need to know about Python or anything like this to use it. You'll get the binaries and you'll use the binaries directly from the command line. So let's take a look on the home page for GAM and let's see the wiki page. 
then I will show you the download page and the options that you might have and you might need to choose between them to download the tool so this is the home page for GAMP it's found on github with this link I will make sure to post the link in the video description and if you scroll down you will see the source for this tool so if you open the source folder you will find the information and the files for the tool the source files you can take a look on the information that are found here you can read through them however these are just quick start information so it will tell you how you can use it and download it for Linux operating systems how you can download it for Windows operating systems and it gives you a link for the wiki page which we are going to see right now and it gives you also another link for the mailing list or the discussion group on Google groups this is where you want to discuss everything about this tool if you have an issue or if you have a problem first go to this group post it there and see what are the responses from the members of this group and from the community you will get a lot of guides and how to stuff on this group so i really encourage you to check this group before actually going to the issues page on github and post anything there so this is the home page for the tool now let's take a look on the wiki page which is on top the wiki page is basically having every single bit of information that you might need about GAM. First it starts with you with the download and then how to configure and after this it will show you how you can run the GAM for the first time and basically it gives you more simple commands however the more advanced stuff and the information that you might want to read are on the right side of the window this is the index of the available information and articles about this tool and if you notice that you have everything about managing G3 domains so you start with managing users and groups and then move to group settings then you move to data transfers after this you see the reports printing the users information and the groups the aliases mobile devices and Chrome OS then if you are using the custom schemas then you have the option to manage them with GAM I rarely saw this being used however you have the option to do it here then you have the option to change the email settings for the users basically you can change everything in the Gmail settings you can even change their forwarding settings and you can change their signatures and their photos and all of that then you can check the or manage the user security settings and after this you can manage the cloud print you can manage the classrooms if you have Google for education G Suite for education then you can manage the calendar settings and resources then the Google Drive management where you can get the files list for users upload files and delete files and all of this then you can work with the admin roles and you can manage the multiple domains in your admin console and then the product licenses where you can print or find the licenses and you can assign or unassign licenses for users and you get also a lot of other options and controls here so basically whatever you need you just come here and type it in the search and you should find the information in the wiki if not then you can go to the discussion group and post about it and see what is the input or the output from the community so this is for the wiki and if you now want to download the tool we'll have to go back to the home page for the GAM and we'll click on releases then we see the current version which is GAM 4.40 and this version is constantly being changed so the developers are doing a great job in maintaining the tool and updating it all of the time if you scroll down a little bit you will notice the various versions that we have and basically we have versions for mac os and versions for linux and versions for windows you note that we have versions for 64-bit and 32-bit operating systems for windows we have an extra way to download it which is through an msi file and this will set up the tool on your computer so you can run it from everywhere on your pc so all you have to do is open the command line and type gam and then the command that you want also you have the option to do the zip file download so we have zip file for 64 bit and zip file for 32 bit of course you can get the source code again so it's up to you really to choose whatever you want to download from here however if you are using windows i really recommend that you get one of the zip files not to take the msi in case of the windows because when you get the zip file then you get the tool authorized and configured 
and then if you want to take it away with you, you can just copy and paste it to, for example, Google Drive or your flash drive or whatever, and you can move it away with you anywhere and you can use it from everywhere. So what version to pick also it depends if you have 64 bit, then of course, take the 64 bit. If you have the 32 bit, take the 32 bit. This operating system, of course, is a 64 bit. So I'm going to pick the 64 bit download. And again, I'm going to pick the zip file, not the MSI file. I do not want to create one instance only of this tool because if I download the MSI file and I run it then I will only get one instance of GAM on my whole machine and this is not practical because if you are managing multiple domains and also in my case because I work on G Suite deployment projects so I work with multiple customers and I need to maintain a different instance for a different customer so the MSI file will not work for me however it it will work very well for you if you are only working with one admin console and one domain only of G Suite. So I'm going to pick the 64-bit zip file. I'm going to click it and the download will start now. Once the download is completed, then we will stop about GAM for a little bit. Then we'll take some time talking about the Windows command line basics. And as I mentioned in the beginning, I'm not going to turn this into a training for Windows command line. I'm just going to give you the very important basics, the very important knowledge, the very basic knowledge that you need to have in order to use the command line properly and you can navigate through the directories in the command line and be able to run GAM and use it properly. So I'm going to end this video here and in the next video we'll see the basics or command line 101. So before closing up, Please like the video if you like it and subscribe for more content as well. And also check my new video about my new G Suite administrator course. This course that I have recently launched and it is called the complete course to manage G Suite. It will give you all of the information and it will give you the complete details that you need to know about the admin console and how you can work effectively to manage your G Suite admin console. I worked through this course and I prepared it from my experience, from my hands-on experience, because I worked on a lot of G Suite projects and I have met a lot of IT administrators and I have seen their issues and their questions. So I have taken all of this knowledge and I put it in a new course for you. All you have to do is go to the website, grab the course and start the journey of getting all of the information and all of the details about the admin console. Currently, there is a promotion on it, so if you check the link now, you will find it is being offered for $10.99 instead of the original price, which is $59.99. So, thank you very much. Until the next video, I hope this was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.